we're gonna try something new today. For the last two weeks, I've been kind of only semi-successful with my weight loss journey. Last week I did lose another pound, which brings my total weight to 392. And this week I stayed the same. Uh, my weigh-in was right after 4th of July, so maybe not the best day. But rather than focus on that, I wanted to focus on the progress that I've made so far. Just in the, I would say about 12 weeks or so that I've been doing videos, I've lost 58 pounds in total. Now, that's a lot. <laughs> so, I wanted to give you guys some of the things that I focused on to lose that much weight in that period of time. And remember, I, I did this without special diets and I just kind of changed the way I think about food. So let's go ahead and get into what exactly I did. Number one is to admit that change needs to happen. As much fun as it is to eat whatever you want, whenever you want, at some point you kind of have to take control of what goes into your mouth. Now, for a while I kind of decided that I didn't care what went in my mouth and I didn't care what my body looked like. But that really took a toll not only on my physical health, but also my mental health. So it's not a surprise that when I started actually focusing on how I was treating my body, things just kind of fell into place. So as long as you're ready to change, it, there's nothing stopping you. Number two is something that I struggle with a little bit. Eat more vegetables. Now. A lot of people have, we'll say, a vegetable phobia, and I was one of those people. I, it's not necessarily that I disliked vegetables or that I was afraid of them, but I just really didn't eat them all, all that often or definitely not as often as I should have. Most of my meals, I would say, were comprised primarily of meat and starch. I really didn't work that many vegetables into my regular diet, which is a shame because not only are they delicious, they're really good for you and they're a great way to help bulk up a low calorie meal. Now you might be saying, well I really don't like the taste. Well the nice thing about vegetables is you can pretty much hide them in anything and if you're one of those people like me who was kind of hesitant at first, you kind of have to start treating yourself like a child. The first thing that I started doing was hiding vegetables and foods that I already found familiar. So I would put them in pasta with red sauce. Um, a great replacement for pasta to add some bulk um, is like spaghetti squash or broccoli slaw. Both of those work really well. And there were other things that you can work veggies into without too much effort. For example, chili. Chili can take on so many different vegetables and really taste about the same that you're used to. There's really no limit to your creativity and there are a lot of great resources online especially that teach you exactly how to hide veggies in recipes. Number three is to admit that sometimes you're not going to be perfect. You know, getting too focused on your weight loss journey and completely cutting foods that you love out of your diet it, it works for some people, that's fine, but you have to allow yourself a slip up every once in a while. And that doesn't necessarily have to be a big slip up, and anyone who's looked at my food diary, I've probably taken that one a little too far, and especially in the last month or so, but I'm reining it back in. Again, what was step number one, admit that change needs to happen. Well, change is a constant process. so. Don't be afraid to allow yourself every once in a while to have the foods that you like. Now, what's important is that you don't ignore those foods and stop keeping track of them because that's what's really going to take you off track. On my plan, I count calories. So when I eat something that isn't necessarily the healthiest in the world, I still log exactly how many calories it is and put it into my food diary. It's just as simple as that. There's no reason to deprive yourself because that's just going to cause you to binge or fail. The key to letting yourself have the foods that you want to eat is portion control. For example, if you used to eat a giant slice of cake, 
maybe cut it in half or fourths and enjoy it a little bit at a time. That way you're still only having one or two servings of something, but you're stretching it out over a few days. Not only are you getting the food that you love more than once, but you're stretching it out in a way that makes it more calorically acceptable. So if you're exercising or burning off extra calories, you may not have as big of an impact as if you ate a giant serving in one go. Number four is stop drinking sugary beverages. And I definitely am guilty of this one. Now, I used to be one of those people who was like, oh, it's diet soda, it's fine. You know, diet soda is great. It has no calorie. The thing about diet soda is even though it fulfills that sweet craving and that bubbly craving that you might be having, it really isn't all that great for you. It has a lot of really odd chemicals and a lot of sodium to boot. Um, a good replacement for soda is things like sparkling water. Sparkling water with a little bit of fruit like lemon or something else added to it maybe just a touch of sweetener, maybe like some honey or some stevia. All of those are great alternatives to just grabbing a two liter. And I was one of those people who would grab a two liter and that would be my one sitting serving. So it's definitely good to rein that in a little bit. And the less fake sugar that you put into your body, it seems that it makes you crave sugar a little bit less. Now I know that that's kind of pseudoscience and there's a lot of debate behind that, but I know for me personally, as soon as I stopped treating myself to diet soda every single day, I had a lot fewer cravings. And you know, I'm not cutting it out completely. I'm still drinking plenty of water and tea, and when I want a soda, I'll let myself have a soda. It's, again, it's all about moderation. It's portion control just like anything else. Number five is admit to yourself now that setbacks may happen and that you're okay with it. You don't need to focus on your one week of failure when you have 11 more weeks of success. So you didn't lose weight one week or you lost less weight than you hoped you lost. It's one step in the right direction. In the video description below, I've linked a Reddit post that again, really pertains to my weight loss philosophy and something that my roommates and I like to really focus on. It mentions not having any zero days. What that basically means is you're going to pick a goal and you're going to work towards it, even if the only thing you do is one small movement towards that goal. So if your goal is to lose weight, take a day, do one push up. As long as you're not doing absolutely nothing, you're working towards your goal. And the more that you work toward your goal and succeed, the more motivated you're going to be. In a nutshell, guys, that's how I've lost 58 pounds in just about 12 weeks. And I didn't do anything special. I haven't been on any crash diets or anything crazy. I just decided that it was time for a change and I made it happen. And it's certainly something that you can do as well. I'm going to try and make a few more of this style of video. Maybe not just me sitting down in my awkward background but just something a little more topical and a little less boring daily vlog style. And I'm not saying that all daily vloggers are boring, but my life just personally is not really that exciting. I work a lot. I work a 40 something hour job. So, you know, again, that may be, for some that may be an excuse. You work a lot, but I made it happen. So I'm pretty sure you can too. I'm, I'm not anyone special. Um, for now guys, I want to thank you so much for watching, and please take a moment to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I am still kind of a big deal, but I'm getting smaller every week. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So another one pound. I'll take it. It's in the right direction. Uh, let's go ahead and go downstairs and get ready for dinner.